Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to explore one of switchgear devices called circuit breaker. Power system equipment becomes increasingly expensive as its ability to withstand higher voltages rises. Any damage can result in significant financial losses and downtime for utility companies. As a result of this, engineers are always on quest for selecting the right switchgear with high precision and accuracy for power systems. In our previous class, we discussed about fuse and its types in detail. In that class, we are made to understood that fuses effectively prevent overcurrents, but their limited ability to interrupt high fault currents makes them unsuitable for very high voltage applications. Due to these limitations, circuit breakers emerge as the ideal switchgear solution for high voltage systems. As we now understood that fuses are not suitable for high voltage systems, let us take a moment to examine the reasons we prefer circuit breakers instead of fuses. These reasons include the following. 1. Circuit breakers are designed to respond quickly and accurately to electrical faults. They can detect even the slightest anomalies in the current flow and interrupt the circuit before any damage occurs. This rapid response time enhances safety by minimizing the risk of electrical fires, equipment damage, and personal injury unlike fuses that remain connected until the fuse element melts. 2. The reusability of circuit breakers is a significant advantage. Imagine having to replace a fuse every time there's a power surge or overload. It can be frustrating and costly in the long run. Circuit breakers eliminate this hassle, allowing you to simply reset them after they've tripped. This not only saves time but also reduces the financial burden of constantly replacing fuses. 3. Circuit breakers have ability to provide precise protection. They can be set to trip at specific current levels, ensuring that the circuit is protected from overloads and faults. This level of precision is difficult to achieve with fuses, which can be prone to overheating or failing to blow when needed. 4. In addition to their technical advantages, circuit breakers also make troubleshooting easier. Many modern circuit breakers come equipped with indicators that show which circuit has tripped. This feature allows electricians to quickly identify the source of the problem and take corrective action. In contrast, fuses often require a more time-consuming process of elimination to determine which one has blown. Now that we have known the reasons why we are interested in circuit breakers. Stay tuned, let us explore it in detail. Welcome back. If you are visiting my YouTube channel for the first time, I would greatly appreciate your support by sharing the video and subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell to stay updated on all my latest tutorials on power system. Let us continue. What do we actually meant by power system circuit breakers? Power system circuit breakers are mechanical switching devices specifically engineered to control and protect electrical power systems. Their principal function is to detect and interrupt fault currents, abnormally high currents resulting from short circuits, equipment failures, or external disruptions like lightning strikes. A circuit breaker primarily consists of two main components, fixed contact and moving contact. Under normal conditions, these contacts remain closed and will not open automatically unless a fault occurs in the system. A current transformer CT, in a circuit breaker system monitors and measures the current flowing through the circuit. Any abnormal currents detected by the current transformer will trigger the protective relays. This enables the relays to detect overcurrent conditions and trigger the circuit breaker to trip, disconnecting the circuit and preventing damage. This calls the moving contacts to separate quickly with the help of an integrated plunger mechanism. Circuit breakers not only disconnect faulty segments to prevent cascading failures, but also allow seamless resumption of normal operations after fault clearance. They serve as both safety mechanisms and operational tools for the system's stability, particularly in high voltage and high power applications such as transmission substations and industrial plants.
Now that we have covered what circuit breaker is, let us dive deeper into their types and explore them further. Circuit breakers are designed with specific applications in mind, taking into account the system's voltage level, potential faults, and environmental conditions. Different voltage levels demand specific types of circuit breakers, and the nature and intensity of faults, such as overloads and short circuits, determine the required interruption capacity. Additionally, environmental conditions like temperature, humidity, and seismic activity impact the design, resulting in specialized circuit breakers for different applications, including residential, commercial, industrial, and power generation environments. These specialized designs ensure safe, reliable performance with minimal downtime. In this course, we will focus on high-voltage circuit breakers, which include the following types. First is Vacuum Circuit Breakers, VCBs. Vacuum Circuit Breakers, VCBs, a type of medium-voltage circuit breaker that utilizes vacuum technology to extinguish arcs and interrupt electrical currents. It operates by separating contacts within a vacuum chamber, creating an arc when a fault occurs. The vacuum environment allows for rapid extinction of the arc due to the absence of any gas or medium that could sustain it. The vacuum's high dielectric strength enables quick recovery of insulation after the arc is interrupted, ensuring reliable operation. They are typically used in medium voltage systems up to 38 kV. However, some vacuum circuit breakers can operate at higher voltages, typically up to 72.5 kV. The exact voltage limit may vary depending on the specific design and manufacturer. So, this is brief explanation of vacuum circuit breakers. Second type we will examine is oil circuit breakers, OCBs. Oil circuit breakers are a type of electrical protection device that utilizes oil as both an arc quenching and insulating medium. It operates by immersing the circuit breaker's contacts in a tank filled with insulating oil, typically mineral oil. When a fault occurs, the contacts separate and an arc is generated. The oil surrounding the contacts quenches the arc, rapidly cooling and extinguishing it. The oil also provides excellent insulation, allowing the circuit breaker to operate safely and efficiently. OCBs were widely used in electrical power systems for voltage levels up to 345 kV. They were a popular choice for many years due to their simplicity, reliability, and ability to interrupt high fault currents. Oil circuit breakers were commonly used in power transmission and distribution systems and industrial applications. This is a quick summary of oil circuit breakers, OCBs. Next type we will analyze is air blast circuit breakers, ACBs. Air blast circuit breakers, ACBs, are a type of electrical protection device that utilizes high pressure air to extinguish arcs and interrupt electrical currents. It operates by using high pressure air to cool and to ionize the arc generated when a fault occurs. The air blast rapidly quenches the arc, allowing for fast and reliable interruption of the current. The high pressure air is directed into the arc chamber, where it effectively cools and extinguishes the arc, ensuring safe operation. ACBs are commonly used in high voltage substations and transmission systems, where fast and reliable fault clearance is critical. They are typically used for voltage levels ranging from 145 kV to 800 kV. ACBs are suitable for applications such as high voltage transmission systems and power grid protection. This concludes a brief overview of air circuit breakers. Next type we will examine is sulfur hexafluoride SF6 circuit breakers. They are type of electrical protection device that utilizes SF6 gas as a dielectric and arc extinguishing medium. SF6 circuit breakers operate by using SF6 gas to extinguish arcs and interrupt electrical currents. When a fault occurs, the contacts separate, and an arc is generated. The SF6 gas surrounding the contacts rapidly quenches the arc, allowing for fast and reliable interruption of the current. 
The SF6 gas's excellent dielectric properties enable the circuit breaker to withstand high voltages and ensure safe operation. SF6 circuit breakers are widely used in medium to high voltage systems, typically up to 800 kV, in various industries and applications. This includes power transmission and distribution systems, high voltage substation and industrial applications. This is a brief overview of SF6 circuit breakers. Final type of circuit breakers of high voltage we will examine is gas insulated circuit breakers, GIS. Gas insulated circuit breakers, GIS, are a type of electrical protection device that integrates circuit breaking and compact insulation using sulfur hexafluoride, SF6, gas in sealed enclosures. GIS technology utilizes SF6 gas as an insulating and arc quenching medium, sealed within a compact enclosure, providing excellent dielectric properties for reliable operation and compact design. When a fault occurs, the circuit breaker interrupts the current, and the SF6 gas quenches the arc, ensuring safe and efficient operation. GIS devices are designed to be compact and space efficient, making them ideal for urban environments where space is limited. They offer high reliability and performance, ensuring safe and efficient operation of electrical systems, and require minimal maintenance, reducing operational costs and increasing reliability. Additionally, GIS devices reduce the environmental impact of electrical infrastructure by minimizing land use and reducing electromagnetic fields. GIS devices are commonly used in urban environments, substations, and power distribution systems, where their compact design and reliability are beneficial. This is a quick summary for gas-insulated circuit breakers. Having discussed types of circuit breaker, each categories we mentioned represent the fundamental types of circuit breakers commonly utilized in power systems, with each type being well suited for specific applications and operational requirements. Now, with a solid understanding of the various types of high voltage circuit breakers, we can now delve into the crucial aspects of selecting and sizing the right circuit breakers for power systems. Choosing the appropriate circuit breaker is a critical step in ensuring the reliability, safety, and efficiency of power systems. Let us examine the key factors and specification that need to be considered when selecting and sizing circuit breakers. The ratings of a circuit breaker are critical parameters that determine its ability to operate safely and effectively in various electrical systems. Here is a detailed explanation of the different ratings. First one is voltage rating of the circuit breaker. The voltage rating of a circuit breaker indicates the maximum system voltage it can handle, including overvoltages and transients. This rating must exceed the normal system voltages by a safe margin to ensure that the breaker can withstand voltage fluctuations and surges without failing or malfunctioning. A higher voltage rating than the system voltage is essential to account for potential overvoltages and transients that can occur due to switching operations, faults, or lightning strikes. Second one is current rating of circuit breaker. The current rating of a circuit breaker denotes the maximum continuous current it can carry without overheating. This rating is critical because excessive current can cause the breaker's contacts to overheat, leading to damage or failure. The current rating is typically determined by the breaker's design and construction, including the materials used for the contacts and the cooling systems. Circuit Breakers the braking capacity of a circuit breaker is the highest current it can interrupt safely, typically stated in kilo ampere, root mean square. This rating is critical for short circuit protection because it determines the breaker's ability to clear faults without causing damage to itself or the surrounding equipment. A higher braking capacity indicates that the breaker can handle more severe faults and interrupt higher currents. Fourth one is, making capacity of the circuit breaker. The making capacity of a circuit breaker refers to the maximum current it can close into under fault conditions. 
This rating is usually higher than the braking capacity due to the asymmetrical nature of initial fault currents. When a fault occurs, the current can be highly asymmetrical, with a significant DC component that can cause the breaker to experience high stresses. The making capacity rating ensures that the breaker can withstand these stresses, and close into a fault without sustaining damage. Fifth one is, short time current rating of the circuit breaker. This rating specifies the duration, typically 1 to 3 seconds, for which the breaker can withstand a fault without damage. This rating is critical for ensuring that the breaker can survive short-term faults without sustaining damage. Sixth one is, peak withstand current rating of the circuit breaker. This rating specifies the instantaneous peak current the breaker can withstand during fault clearance. This rating is important for designing the breaker's mechanical strength and ensuring that it can withstand the electromagnetic forces generated during fault clearance. Now that we have covered the electrical specifications, let us explore additional key features to consider when selecting suitable circuit breakers for high voltage systems. 1. Insulation and dielectric strength. Insulation and dielectric strength are critical components of circuit breaker system, particularly in high voltage applications. The dielectric strength of a material refers to its ability to withstand electrical stress without breaking down, or allowing an electrical discharge to occur. In circuit breaker, insulation and dielectric strength play a crucial role in preventing internal arc and flashover. Different arc medium like, vacuum, air, oil, or SF6, offer different levels of dielectric strength depending on the design. Summarily, when sizing a circuit breaker in power system, voltage levels and arc medium capacity should be matched, for reliable operation. 2. Mechanical and electrical operation of circuit breakers. The mechanical and electrical operation of a circuit breaker is a crucial aspect of its functionality, enabling reliable protection of electrical systems. The mechanical operation involves the movement of contacts to interrupt or establish the electrical supply, while the electrical operation involves the control systems that detect faults and initiate the tripping mechanism. The mechanical operation of a circuit breaker is designed to operate quickly and reliably, ensuring that faults are cleared rapidly and safely. This is achieved through the use of advanced mechanical designs, such as motorized or solenoid drives, which provide fast and precise control over the movement of contacts. Motorized drives use electric motors to charge the breaker's operating mechanism, allowing for fast and reliable operation. Solenoid drives, on the other hand, use electromagnetic coils to actuate the breaker's mechanism, providing rapid and precise control. Summarily, the mechanical and electrical operation of a circuit breaker is a critical aspect of its functionality, enabling reliable protection of electrical systems. In conclusion, circuit breakers are not merely switches. They are critical guardians of power systems. Circuit breakers play a crucial role in modern electrical systems, providing reliable protection against faults and ensuring the safety and efficiency of power transmission and distribution. Their specialized designs and advanced technologies enable them to operate effectively in demanding environments, minimizing downtime and preventing damage to equipment. With increasing demand for power reliability and the integration of renewable energy, Intelligent circuit breakers with diagnostic and communication capabilities are the key future of grid protection. Their role in preventing damage and ensuring power continuity makes them indispensable in modern electrical infrastructure. Here, we bring the class to an end. If this video is helpful to you, please like and subscribe to the channel for my upcoming videos on power systems. In our next class, we will explore vacuum circuit breakers in detail. You can also check out my video on Fuse as shown on the screen. Thank you and have a nice day.